Hello everyone. Today I am here with a problem on AGC, Automatic Generation Control and to specifically load sharing between uh, two units uh, connected in parallel. And the problem is uh, like this. Two synchronous generators operate in parallel which are supplying a load of uh, 400 megawatt and the capacity of uh, the machines are machine 1 is having a capacity of 200 megawatt and machine 2 500 megawatt each has a drop characteristic of uh, 4 percent their governors are uh, adjusted so that uh, the frequency is 100 percent on full load okay calculate the load supplied by each unit and a frequency at this load and the system frequency is uh, 50 hertz okay now we are going to solve for this one to solve uh, this problem we need to draw the drop characteristic okay and the drop characteristic for this problem specifically is uh, like this as in the problem itself they had mentioned the drop characteristic is 4% now we will know how we are going to draw this one okay first point the drop uh, the drop characteristic is uh, percent okay and they have also mentioned the frequency is 100 percent at uh, the full load and the frequency is 50 hertz remember if it is 100 percent means uh, one per unit you can consider it as a uh, one per unit and uh, since they are mentioning the drop characteristic as four percent it means that no load speed is 4% greater than the full load no load speed is 4% greater than the full load which means since uh, the frequency is 100 percent since the frequency is 100 percent at full load that is uh, after a drop of four percent okay after getting a drop of 4% which means at full load the frequency is 100% means at no load it would be plus 4% which means it is around 104% uh, at no load since the frequency is 104% at no load at full load it would be 100% 4% drop will be there at full load okay that is nothing but 1.04 per unit okay 104 percent is nothing but 1.04 per unit at no load let us consider a base value of uh, 100 megawatt to solve this problem we are considering a base of 100 megawatt for these three points we have marked this uh, curve okay drop characteristic curve which means at no load it is 1.04 per unit and from 1.04 per unit to 2 per unit 
which means that I am going to write it now. For unit 1, capacity is uh, 200 uh, megawatt as it is mentioned here unit 1 capacity is 200 megawatt and unit 2 capacity is 500 megawatt since unit 1 capacity is 200 megawatt which means uh, divided by 100 megawatt leads to 2 per unit similarly unit 2 capacity is uh, 500 megawatt which is nothing but uh, 5 per unit 500 megawatt divided by 100 is uh, 5 per unit that is what we have drop, draw here actually no load is 1.04 per unit here it is 1.04 per unit and it is dropping you can see that it is dropping at 2 mega at 2 per unit okay for unit 1 at 2 per unit it is uh, 1 per unit frequency is 1 per unit and for uh, unit 2 its maximum capacity is uh, 5 per unit so it is dropping 1.04 is dropping for unit 2 the curve is like this okay drop characteristic at 5 per unit the frequency is uh, 1 you can see that and remember the slope remains constant throughout if you want to take the slope here it remains same if you want to take the slope here it remains same if you want to take the slope here and here it remains uh, same okay mark it as a b c and d okay the slope of uh, line a c remains the same for triangle a b c and the slope for a d remains same for triangle a b d hope you are uh, getting this point okay now we are going to identify the load supplied by each unit and the frequency at this load to calculate this we need to understand the slope as I said the slope remains a constant if you are taking slope here for triangle ABC let us consider for triangle ABC if you are taking slope here and if you take the whole slope ABC it would be like uh, if you are taking uh, for triangle ABC it would be like a uh, slope is uh, 1.04 to 1 which means 0 0.04 from here to here it is 0 0.04 divided by here it is 2 you can see slope of uh, ABC and if I am taking for the same line for AC if I am considering it here A E F and we don't know the exact value here okay now we are going to solve that let us consider let us consider x is the load supplied by unit 1 let us consider x is the load supplied by unit 1 and uh, the total load is we all know the total load is uh, supply load is 400 megawatt the total load is 400 megawatt which is nothing but uh, 4 per unit 400 megawatt divided by 100 leads to 4 per unit we are considering x as the load supplied by unit 1 if x is supplied by unit 1 unit 2 will supply the remaining load the 
that is 4 minus x okay if x out of 4 per unit if unit 1 is supplying x units then the remaining uh, unit 2 will be supplied by unit 2 4 minus x is supplied by unit 2 now we have consider x is the sub load supplied by unit 1 and here uh, we are taking it not 2 unit is supplied by unit 1 now we are considering x is the load supplied by unit 1 and we don't know the frequency market as delta f. we don't know the frequency market as uh, delta f okay uh, we have drawn it uh, simply like this okay uh, no specific points to be mentioned here since x is the load supplied by unit 1 and frequency is delta f then the slope would be you can uh, take it as a slope for uh, a e f will be equal to delta f divided by x okay you can see it here delta f divided by x is the slope therefore since a uh, slope always remains the same throughout the line slope remains the same throughout the line we can consider these two slopes uh, are equal to each other which means uh, delta f divided by x is equal to 0 0.04 divided by 2 point zero four divided by two marking it as equation number one similarly for uh, slope two now we are considering it as uh, this uh, load supplied by unit two is uh, four minus x and the frequency is again uh, change in frequency marked as delta f it becomes uh, delta f divided by four minus x will be equal to zero point zero four divided by the maximum unit that can be supplied by unit 2 is 5 per unit we are marking it as 5 per unit similar to equation 1 we are marking it for equation 2 unit 2 can supply 4 minus x in the place of x and unit 2 is having a capacity of 5 per unit and unit 1 is having a capacity of 2 per unit marking it as equation number 2 if we divide equation 1 and 2 Dividing equation 1 divided by 2, it leads to 4 minus x divided by x will be equal to 5 divided by 2. Okay. If you solve this, if you solve this, we will be getting 4 to the 8 minus 2 into x is 2x will be equal to 4x that is nothing but uh, minus 2 comes to the RHS leads to 7x 7x is equal to 8 which means x is equal to 8 divided by 7 now we are having the value of x as 8 divided by 7 which is nothing but 1.14285 per unit the value of x is 1.14285 per unit if you multiply it by the base value therefore x is equal to 1.14285 per unit if you multiply it by base value you will get the megawatt x is, x is equal to since 100 is the base value 1.14285 multiplied by 100 is 114. Point 285 megawatt as we got the value of uh, x as 1.14285 it is the load supplied by unit 1 and uh, for unit 2 it is uh, 4 minus x is nothing but 4 minus 1.14285 that is equal to 2.85715 per unit 
if you multiply it by 100 4 minus x will be equal to 285.715 megawatt which is the load supplied by unit 2 ok and the frequency we need to calculate the frequency also since we got the value of x substituting the value of x in any of the equation unit equation 1 or 2 we are going to substitute in equation 1 substituting x in equation 1 leads to delta f is equal to as our equation 1 states we, we all know equation 1 states delta f divided by x is equal to 0 0.04 divided by 2 0 0.04 divided by 2 which is nothing but delta f is equal to 0 0.04 divided by 2 is 0 0.02 into the value of x delta f is equal to 0 0.02 into x is 1.14 1.14285 which is nothing but uh, 0 0.022857 per unit ok this is nothing but delta f change in frequency remember now we, we haven't got the value of frequency only we got the value of change in frequency as uh, 0 0.022 delta f is equal to 0 0.022857 per unit therefore new frequency is f1 is equal to f minus delta f the actual frequency was 1.04 per unit minus delta f is 0 0.022857 we'll be getting 1.0171 per unit 1.0171 f1 therefore f1 is equal to since it is in per unit we need to convert it into hertz multiplied by 50 leads to 50.857 hertz Therefore, unit one supply one one four point two eight five megawatt. Unit two supply two eighty five point seven one five megawatt. Frequency is equal to fifty point eight five seven. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubts, uh, please do put a comment on my comment box. We'll discuss. Thank you.